This is the classic universal generalization, all A or B. Here's some examples of claims with this form. All humans are mortal. All whales are mammals. All lawyers are decent people. There's two things to note about these sorts of generalizations. First, the all is strict. When you read all, it really means all, no exceptions. Second, we often don't use the all to express a universal generalization. Look at these examples. Humans are mortal means humans in general are mortal. It's implied that you're talking about all humans. Similarly, whales are mammals means all whales are mammals, and lawyers are decent people means all lawyers are decent people. Now, in, in the real world, people sometimes aren't careful and will make a generalization that they will acknowledge has exceptions. They might say, all politicians are crooks, but then they might admit that one or two are pretty decent. They're not lying, they're just not being precise, or, or maybe they're exaggerating for the sake of dramatic effect. What they really mean is most or almost all politicians are crooks. In logic, it matters a great deal whether you mean all or almost all. So just be aware of the strictness of your language. If you really don't mean all, then don't say all. The contradictory of a universal generalization is pretty straightforward. There's just one thing to be on the lookout for. If I say all humans are mortal, it's tempting to think that the contradictory might be no humans are mortal. But this is wrong. This isn't the contradictory. Remember that the contradictory has to have the opposite truth value in all possible worlds. If one is true, then the other must be false, and vice versa. But imagine a world in which, say, half the people are mortal and the other half are immortal. In this world, both of these statements would, would be false. This shouldn't happen if they're genuine contradictories of one another. No, these are contraries. They can't both be true at the same time, but they can both be false. The contradictory of all humans are mortal is some humans are not mortal or some humans are immortal. These two claims always have opposite truth values. If one is true, the other is false. Here's the general form. And a few examples. All dogs bark. The contradictory is some dogs don't bark. Canadians are funny. The contradictory is some Canadians are not funny. Note that here you need to remember that Canadians are funny makes a claim about all Canadians. Logically, you need to read it as all Canadians are funny. What about this one? All Michael Moore films are not good. The translation rule works just the same, but you need to use double negation on the B part. So the contradictory looks like this. Some Michael Moore films are good. You see how this works. This is how you write the contradictory of a universal generalization.